What is good, dear soul travelers? Love to you on this True Love Thursday. We're here to do a love reading. Let's get into this and see what the romance angels want to show us. We're also going to be tapping into the Moonology Manifestation cards. Get a few energies out there to see what is going on. We'll also tap into the Cosmic Visions Tarot. We got some Six of Wands energy and a Page of Wands energy. Uh-oh, somebody may be successful with their offer. Looking good so far, as far as I can see. Let us get a little bit more pre-shuffle energy to see what is going on here. Eight of Pentacles. Somebody is definitely working hard on ensuring that the offer that they make, perhaps, is going to be an offer that you can't refuse, or vice versa. We're also going to be getting some advice from our um, Guardian Angel cards. Beautiful little heart cards here. Messages of advice for us moving forward on this True Love Thursday. As well, we will get some messages of love advice moving forward from our Romance Angels cards. A lot of peace on the horizon, perhaps. Somebody offering that olive branch, perhaps. We will answer your question as well, so get that ready for the end of the reading. All the good stuff comes at the end, so do stick around. Let us see what is going on here. Thank you to the angels, ancestors, way showers, guides. We honor you for the messages for our beautiful collective. And blessings to all of you. Shout out and so much love for all of your support to the channel. I truly appreciate you. Your likes, comments, shares, and donations are absolutely appreciated let me know down in the comments how these messages are resonating with you and don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell notification what is going on in love for our beautiful collective out there i want to get a real card to jump out what do we got going on here okay forgiving and learning give your relationship a chance so again somebody could be coming back at this time just like i was seeing and it may be an opportunity to forgive and learn from this situation or allow it to heal and come back together. It's going to be up to you is what I'm seeing here. As you release and heal your past, you experience more love in your present moments. Work on your partnership and on the top. Oh, this could be somebody you're already married to for sure. Well, we're going to look into this because this situation involves marriage. Now, if you are, maybe you were married to them in the past, right? And that's why this person is like, oh, now they've seen how wonderful and amazing you are and now they wanna come back. But it's gonna be up to you is what this looks like as far as if you uh, wanna give this another go around. Let's read this card real quick for you. The Romance Angels have heard your desire for great love and they bring you this card as guidance. And yesterday we get the card of guidance and tarot, all right? So listen to the guidance you're receiving, especially if you're following me regularly. They see that your heart can give and receive the bliss of romance by clearing away the cobwebs of the past. So time to let all that old stuff go, right? Who cares what didn't work out? We're on to bigger and better, baby, yeah. The angels know that you have been hurt before and that you are wary of being hurt again. Yet your defenses are creating barriers to allowing love into your life. So if this is about you know who you're connected with at present, we gotta look at why that is. As you heal your past, you won't keep recreating it. After all, you attract into your life the situations and relationships that remind you of what you have already experienced because that is a primary part or tool of healing. To change to a healthier relationship pattern, it is necessary to detoxify any old anger, blame, or unforgiveness you may be holding. This includes forgiving yourself. If you call upon the angels and ask them to help you release and heal your past, they will clear away the heaviness so that your heart can soar with happiness. Beautiful. 
clearing away the heaviness so your heart can soar with happiness. Here, here, I'm all about that, right? So, how can we do that? So, it, does this mean that we need to uh, end a marriage, perhaps? I don't know. Let's see what energy is coming out here today around all of this. We're gonna energy out. <clears throat> I think I'll just get three main cards and then what I'll do is a Lenormand spread where we'll look at your energy, their energy, kind of like past, present, and future, and then we'll look at uh, the mutual energy between the two of you, all right? So let's see what your energy is right now, perhaps, with all of this. What do we need to know for the person watching? I've got a ringing in my ear at five, four, six. Be humble. First quarter moon in Leo, and on the bottom, release control. So this may be a situation where you do need to be humble at this time and try to at least hear this person out, all right? And if nothing else, at least do that, and then, all right, this is my side of the story, you know what I mean? Because I don't know what's happened here, but it does feel like there's been some kind of challenge, you know, um, as far as from like, I feel like with that authentic voice we had at the beginning of the week, maybe you've had some, some trouble feeling like you had autonomy perhaps in a relationship, perhaps with someone who now wants to come back into the picture, you know what I mean? Let's take a look at their energy real quick. What are we getting for the other party's energy? Co wild, wow. Was this person going wild? Reveal what needs to be seen. So this person has some things to be honest with you about is what it looks like. We got more Leo energy coming out here today. Um, so you could be a Leo or dealing with a Leo. So yeah, for some reason though, you're trying to maybe be humble with this particular person because you want to at least find out as much as you can <laughs> about what may have happened in their wild moments, see what they may reveal to you, all right? And by staying calm, that's how you're gonna be able to find out as much as you can, right? Maybe enough to help you uh, be able to get out of a situation. What's the energy between the two of you? Leave the past behind, know your worth. So I think that's pretty clear. If this person has uh, you more or less devalued you, then, you know, Capricorn energy and Taurus energy. This may be an energy that, like, you know, once you realize what's happened, open up to change, this may be, help you to do, you know, be what you need, if you will, to be able to move in a different direction. Maybe it's been hard for you, you know, to um, kind of know exactly what was the right way to feel and you know to have closure perhaps with a situation that you have held anger or resentment towards a person for again somebody who may have stepped out on a marriage if you will is something that i could be seeing here today and uh maybe there's a lot more that you're gonna understand that's gonna help you to hold back and uh, be fine with being single kind of what I'm here today. All right, so let's cut the cards and see what's going on here. On the bottom here, four of wands in reverse. It does look like definitely things are not right in this situation um, for whatever reason. <laughs> So under you, we have a page of wands in reverse. I feel like you definitely have decided not to move forward with this person in this situation. Four of cups, definitely not happy with, you know, perhaps what you got out of this deal. Maybe feeling like you got a raw deal even um, in relation to if you married this, this person, especially, you know, it's like, really, I committed myself to this? <laughs> moon in reverse i feel like you know whatever secrets there were you definitely are clear about all of that now and again i feel like that's really what's helped you to be able to make the right choice for you moving forward 
So for this person, Nine of Wands in reverse, I feel like they're still learning lessons, you know, that they uh, have been a little too wild, a little too out there, if you will, putting themselves out there. Yeah, connecting with a lot of people is what it looks like. And world energy, again, just, uh, I feel like this person has definitely been uh, enjoying themselves. The energy between you two, sun in reverse, definitely don't see happiness in this situation with the leave the past behind card. Injustice, so you're leaving behind unhappiness, injustice. And nothing but fantasy thinking right I feel like this person and you have seen that this person has done nothing but fed you a line of BS and I feel like you're just really done with it and this is time for you to really forgive that past clear out those cobwebs just like the energy of the card said you know really allow yourself to let go of all of that anger so you can flourish and be happy right and set yourself energetically free from this person so crossing you is 11 11 you may not give this relationship a chance right so let's see what the advice is from the guardian angels cards definitely hit the like button if you're resonating at all or receiving any messages that are helpful for you i thank you for your support what do we need to know from the guardian angels a message from the guardian angels opportunity and orange so sacral chakra energy carnelian would be really good to work with and even put on this area that area is a uh, you know basically just below your belly button so it says, wondrous possibilities and opportunities await you. Stop dwelling on past mistakes. Surrender the past lovingly. There is nothing to regret. All is always in perfect and divine order. Everything that you have ever experienced has helped you in some way. The, the past is behind you. The path ahead is clear. Your heart excuse me move forward joyfully and fulfill your heart's desire so there again another forgiving and learning card with that opportunity to move forward so this is definitely asking you to allow yourself to let go of the past resentment that you could have towards this person because maybe they were just pretty devious you know what i mean and sometimes we do find ourselves in those situations but when we can really learn what we need to learn from these situations and heal in such a way that we do draw in just the right person, it's going to be all worth it, right? So be humble with this experience. Just leave it behind. Walk away. You know what's best. Beware of what you are projecting, for the qualities you admire in one another are also qualities you both possess. And equally so, the qualities you don't like are also your own reflection. So sit with that and really think about that, all right? Because there had to be an attracting quality to bring you together. You have to think about, from a, a light and dark perspective, you know, what that could mean. And we do have that energy of twin flames coming out here today. Your passion ignites. You know, I do feel like this is a person that you do feel like you could move mountains with if you were both in the right place and come together, you know, under that right energy, projecting the proper energy, you know, seeing each other as amazing as well as our faults, but still, you know, uplifting and encouraging one another. You know, if we didn't find ourselves in that kind of dynamic, we have to trust that we will and that perhaps this just wasn't the right opportunity or situation for us. Transformation occurs through acceptance. Once you accept the current situation, it will automatically transform. Beautiful. Well, that's positive to know, right? We just got to move out of that 
fantasy type of thinking and not allow people to fill our heads with BS, but to show us, you know, that they are who they truly are meant to be, especially in a committed relationship, right? We shouldn't have to question that person that we've committed and vowed to, you know, be true to. Do we want to give somebody a chance, you know, again, that has shown that they're not as committed and that we maybe can't trust them? But at the same time, we have to be able to heal, forgive and forget, all right? Or try to forget that emotion of anger and things of that nature as much as possible. And understand that we're all human. We're all doing the best that we can, even if it doesn't seem like it's the best, right? All right, let's get an answer to your question, shall we? Here we go. In three, two, one. And here is the answer of the day. It is a hard no, Randy. All right, guys, I hope you got the answer that you needed. I hope this message served you in some good way. Definitely hit the like button. Let me know in the comments subscribe and hit the bell notification guys i will see you for our fave friday message tomorrow you stay awesome and i'll see you soon bye for now